And for the longest time, during that decade where I did television, and I never liked anything I did on television, but I did during, in the 60s and early 70s, I did what everybody did. You do a variety show, Ed Sullivan, Mark Griffin, uh, Mike Douglas, and all of those types of shows. So those, and I never liked anything I ever saw because of the time restriction. And they wanted you to do four minutes, and that was it. And I, my act doesn't really have a joke in it. It's a theatrical book. One line leads to another to another. So there was no way that I felt comfortable condensing it. Now I know how to do that, and I can. But I never really liked anything I ever did on television. I really didn't. Um, when, when time came, I think it was 1977 or 8, I want to say, that uh, they were holding auditions for the ventriloquist role in Soap. Mm -hmm. My manager at the time said, this television show that's coming up, it's perfect. You've got to audition for it. And I said, you know what? I don't like anything I've ever done on TV. I really don't like it. I would rather do my little 12 minutes. And, and I never did TV after that anymore. I just, I think I did one Jerry Lewis telethon. And in 1980, I was asked to do Dummies. Um, and which was great, and I, I came from Paris just to do it. I was in the middle of the run of the Crazy Horse, and the reason I did it was because there was some Sherry Lewis was on the show, Dick Weston, Willie Tyler, uh, Clarence Nash, who was the voice of Donald Duck. Okay, and, and he had Donald Duck, even though he wasn't a ventriloquist, just to work with him. Valentine Vox was on the show, so there was some great. Ventriloquist, and I think it was like an HBO special. They did, I believe, a series of them. I that was the last thing I did. That was 1980, and uh, it just really wasn't my bag, so to speak. Um, and so when it came time for me to hang Francisco up, and I donated him to Vent Haven, I said, I I really still have this yearning for ventriloquism as, as an art form. And in 1990, I started coaching different acts, whether they were ventriloquists or not, just based on the time that I spent on the boards. So I took that line from Dr. Winchell, that on the boards, that time on the boards, and I started writing my memoirs, so to speak. And, uh, uh, and I'm going to convert that into a, a book for the ventriloquist community. I'm not a writer, and it's not going to be a best-selling novel. I have no intention. It's more just what happened to me and uh, how I did 25,000 shows, because it's kind of hard for me to get my head wrapped around the fact that I could, anybody could do. That has a lot of, you know, a lot of shows, and you had to bring joy to a lot of people over that time, that which is a blessing. Moment. That, that is the blessing, that is exactly what it is.